You know, I've walked these woods for now on 70 years. I well remember when times was good and they was loggers all around. Back then, when my granddad took me a walking in the woods, there was a heap more game, more hunting. Things just ain't the same no more. Yep, the forest is different. Lots of things has changed. Paul, what's different? Hey, most folks are just like you. They just don't know all the damage a fire can do. And it's not just the trees. Fire hurts us too. Us and our kin folks and our neighbors all over these hills. We're paying a price, kids, for what we've done to our force. A mighty high price. I'll sing you a song, it's a sad tale but true, of a fire that burns on the hill. And the price that we're paying today, me and you, cause the forest is burning there still. Oh, we gotta pitch in, gotta put out the fire, cause our time's running out and the cost getting higher. It's funny the way people will destroy the most valuable things they got and end up hurting themselves and their neighbors just because they're careless. Some fool hunter was a smoking out a squirrel and started dissing. We had to fight that far three, four days before we done got to put it out. Dang fella got his squirrel, but he ruined hundreds of acres of timber and killed a whole parcel of wild game, too. Mostly, hunters don't aim to start fires, but they get carried away sometimes, and they get careless with fire. This one was started by a farmer burning off his fields to get ready for plowing. Lots of folks claim it's good for pasture land to burn it, but it ain't. Look at that soil. It was cream rich once. Now it's not fit to raise nothing but broom sage. The fire done destroyed all the topsoil that made it rich and helped the crops and trees to grow. Now, this one was caused by a burning trash. There's a sight of folks that started out to burn their trash and ended up burning a whole mountain. Now, this here's the kind of fire that worries me the most. Done just for spite. Started by one of her own neighbors, it was. Done it a purpose. Just cause he got mad, maybe at the company. Or he got mad at his neighbor. And if that weren't bad enough, there was plenty of people could have done something about it. Just sat there and let her burn. Before long, it turned out to be a lot of folks responsible for that bar. And it was a big one. Thousands of acres scorched. Folks won't be forgetting about that one soon, especially them that almost lost their homes in the blaze. And it's sad to think that didn't nobody seem to realize the price they'd have to pay for all the fires. Seemed like they couldn't understand how they was hurting themselves. It started one night in a holler nearby, and it burned its way up the hill. It wasn't our land, but we hurt you and I, and we're paying a price for it still. Oh, we gotta pitch in, gotta do something fine, cause we're hurting ourselves and we don't have much time.
Lots of folks figure that come next spring after the fire, everything will be all right. It looks pretty good. Sure, the mountainside looks green. Leastways it does from kind of fur off. But if you used to get up close, you could see for your own self how bad that fire messed things up. If you was to take a look around, you'd see the first thing that fire done was to kill all the young trees and saplings. Burn up all the seeds, too. Then, the longer she burns, the worse it is for the big trees. The fire don't kill them, so they still leaf out and look green. But just you go around to the yon side of them trees and have a look. See them marks? Timmerman calls them cat faces. Sure look like cat faces, Grandpa. Oftentimes you can't hardly see them from the roadside or the foot of the hill, just only from above. You've seen how the leaves and twigs piles up more on the uphill side of trees. Well, it just naturally stands to reason that when the fire hits that pile, it's going to burn faster than anything else around the tree. And that's what makes them cat faces. If you just leave the tree stand there, then it's either going to die off or else it'll get hot and won't be worth a nickel to nobody. Just an old cull standing there taking up room. Once it's got burned or scorched, the bark falls clean off. That makes the tree get doty. And it lets that foxfire stuff get a start on the dead wood. And finally, what happens is the whole tree rots and falls over. When the logging crews come into a forest that's burned, they can't hardly find nothing. Just a few good logs here and there. So what it means is the more fires you have destroying the timber, the fewer timber cutting jobs there are. And damaged wood don't do the sawmills no good either. Fire hurts the trees most down at the bottom of the trunks, right where they're worth the most money to you. That's where your top grade lumber comes from, and vanilla wood too. You know, you ain't supposed to use fire damaged wood for mine posts on account of them posts needs to be strong enough to hold up the roof. Nor you can't use fire damaged wood to sell to pulp and paper mill on account of they just won't take it. So you see, fires take the money right out in their pockets. Yes, we're hurting ourselves and we don't have much time. Have you ever studied about what fire does to the flowers and animals? God put flowers on earth for us to enjoy. And that's bound to mean he aimed for us to take care of them. But it's a pure out fact that flowers are the first to go, right along with the seedlings and ground cover, just as quick as the fire comes along. If the flowers have deep roots, might be they'd come up again next spring. Now, on the other hand, this hill could look like this for a long time to come. And it's a cinch. There won't be no animals around here. The young ones was probably killed in the fire. And them that got away won't have no reason to come back for their homes and food is all gone. Here in southern West Virginia, hemlock thickets is a favorite shelter for deer and other animals. And the game bird likes them real well to roost in, too. Now these here hemlock thickets has been the hardest hit by far. They are just plumb disappearing. And far is burning up the seeds and the little seedlings, which could give some shelter and food for the wildlife. Something a lot of folks never study about is what forest fires can do to the water. 
What does fire have to do with water, Grandpa? Makes a heap of difference, Jay, when it comes to rain up there, whether the water falls on rich topsoil or on ground that's been just about burned bare naked. Many's the time I've seen the ground soak up the rain like it was a blotter. Catches hold of it and just hangs on. That's one reason why the woods stay moist and the trees and plants can grow. But you let that same rain fall in a place that's been burned and the water just slides clear down the hill quick as double-geared lightning. And when the ground cover can't hold back the water, it means trouble. Lots of things that ought to stay on the hill gets washed down off it. You lose your topsoil, fine topsoil that won't ever be back. You get sandbars in the creeks too, and the water gets all fouled up. And if it keeps on a raining, those headwaters come pouring down the hollers and valleys. The first thing you know, you've got yourself a flood. Floods is just like fires. It's a sight to the world how much money they cost. After the high water's gone, you gotta patch up the roads, build back the bridges, fix up the houses, and all the rest of stuff that got tore up. And where do they get the money from to do all that? From our taxes, that's where. I'd a heap rather see it go for better roads and better schools. It ain't only the creeks and rivers that gets fouled up, the air does too. And a couple of folks I know with rock dust had to leave her home, get out until the fire was out and they could breathe clean air again. Yes, sirree, boy, it can get pretty bad. It ruins our hunting, our water and air, and we're paying the price for it still. It takes away jobs and leaves the land bare The fire that burns on the hill So let's all pitch in, let's put out the fire Cause our time's running out and the cost's getting higher Lots of folks figure to leave the fires to the boys in the fire towers But them fellas can't do it all by themselves They need some help and ain't nobody else to give them help but us. It's a plain fact that spiting them fire towers and rangers and planes and all the rest of the shooting match, us folks down here in just 10 counties of southern West Virginia managed to burn up more woods than all the rest of the state put together. That's awful. Yeah, Tammy. Them rangers needs our help. And by helping them, won't we be helping ourselves? We sure will, Jay. We sure will. There's still time if we all pitch in and help. We can still yet save the forest and some of the thousands of dollars it's been a cost each year to try and repair the damage. One way is to report a fire just as quick as we see it a burning. Call the fire tower or the sheriff, or the volunteer fire department if you got a phone. Or if you don't, get word out somehow, quick as ever you can. Another thing we can do is all lend a hand and help put out the fire. If we can just get them when they're small, and everybody pitch right in and help, they're a sight easier to put out. Oh, we gotta pitch in, gotta do something fine. There's a job to be done, and we don't have much time. Is time really running out, Grandpa? Yep, Jay, we gotta do something now. Not just for you kids' daddy and his buddies, but for you and your friends and the young'uns you all have someday. 
I ain't a superstitious man. Never set much store by lots of things other folks believe. But I know one thing. The good Lord put these trees here in the forest and the birds and the animals for us to use, not to waste. And I can't help but wonder, what's going to happen if we keep on wasting them when we know it's wrong? still yet time, but we all got to help. We still got trees waiting out here to make us money, and places where the forest's healthy and the hunting's good. I can find you places where a man can stand and look pretty nigh up to heaven and still see the tops of trees. We just got to save them places from fires. It'll sure take a lot of work. Sure, it'll take a lot of work. But if a man asks you for help, you can't hardly turn him down, can you? Especially when it's going to help us and our people. How's about it? We'll all help out, won't we? There's a day coming soon when the fire burns no more and our forest will grow on the hill. Our lives will be richer when the land is restored And our forest grows green on the hill So let's all pitch in, let's put out the fire Cause our time's running out and the cost's getting higher Let's pitch in and help, let's work for the day When times will be better, when the fire's gone away